Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to my studio. Okay, so today we are going to take a look at my Sharks collection. At the same time, we have a box of, um, you know, me sea animals right here. I don't think it, it is from any brand, but you can see there are some really cool shark figurines, you know, like a turtle. Is that like a turtle? Yes. Ladderback sea turtle with some penguins and some rays. Okay, so it's pretty cool. All right, if this is your first time here, this is basically what is known as the basement dino dungeon. It is an awesome place where we keep our dinosaurs as well as our sea animals. So today we will take a look at our shock figurines collection, not the big ones, just the smaller ones. So let's begin. Okay guys, so let's have a look at this box right here first, okay? It basically says Animal Collection, Ocean World. I feel they are like kind of like, you know, budget packs, which is not very good, but let's have a look and see, okay? So it basically says, This realistic animal toys help children to develop the connection of animals in play and cultivate their curiosity and recognition capability. Okay, it sounds pretty cool, okay? But let's have a look. Oh! Wow, they actually look decent. I was, you know, expecting them to be like really, really terrible figures, but it seems like they are quite decent. Let's have a look, okay? So let's pull all these figures out. I'm gonna leave like a little space for, you know, the minifigures. Let's have a look together, okay? So what do we have right here? A Warriors. Um, I mean, they're not exactly super high quality, but I don't think they are that bad. So we have a walrus first. Okay, so what about this one? This is definitely a great white shark. Okay, I think it looks decent enough. You can actually see um, there's some nice detailing done right here. The teeth is like, it's painted, but of course it's not perfect, but I feel it's, it, it looks quite good. I'm pretty surprised. And um, here's a bottlenose dolphin. The eyes can definitely be painted with um, you know, much more accuracy. This side is, is better. Okay, let's see what else we've got. This is a um gray wheel, I suppose. Yeah, pretty nice. Can sign you can find some nice detailing done. The eyes are painted quite decently, but you know, there's a bit of smudge right here. But overall I think it's it's pretty nice. Ladderback sea turtle looks pretty good. The shell is nicely done. The paint work on the shell looks kind of, um, you know, realistic. But the eyes is like kind of sloppy as well. Okay, but still looks pretty good, I would say. Overall, I think they are all fantastic. A whale shark right here. I love the, the little dots that they have painted, the spots. Quite nicely done, I would say. And here is a manatee. Yeah, pretty nice. I mean, they are nice detailing on the skin texture, which is pretty cool. Yep, pretty nice. A decent, I would say. A sea lion, probably a California sea lion. Nicely done. You can you can find you know the skin texture is nicely dotted. Pretty cool. At least they put in effort to do that. And here is a humpback whale. Wow, this one is nice. I would say this one is pretty good. They've actually painted, um, you know, the two flippers right here with a tint of like um, a cream color, and you can find a little bumps quite nicely detailed as well. Nice figure. So far, this one is the best. We have a manta ray. Okay, this is kind of simple, but you can find some really nice detailing done on the bottom, which is cool. Emperor penguin, the largest species of penguins around, quite nicely painted as well, I would say. Small little figure, but quite nicely done. This is probably a scallop hammerhead because you can see some, you know, what do you call it? indentation across the hammerhead. So this is it's not a usual hammerhead shock. It is a scallop hammerhead shock like this one. Okay, I have a box right here. I'm gonna put all the shocks back into the box. So this is basically our shocks collection. Okay, all right. Uh, maybe we can put the box right here so it's easier for us to place them in here of a great white okay great white i think this one is from um i'm not too sure where this one is from there's no manufacturer below but this one is a beautiful one is from Papo. i think this can be passed on as a megalodon or we can simply call it a great white shark really beautiful really nicely done the detailing on this is pretty incredible 
Megalodon is about 10 times the size of a great white. And speaking of Megalodon, we have another one right here, which is a Safari LTD um, figure. Megalodons are basically like, you know, extinct sharks. Extinct sharks, which are extremely big. 10 times the size of a normal shark. And this one is a blue shark. Yep, that is the actual name. And this is a 1993 figure. Like this figure a lot. Okay, let's see what else we've got. This is a shark ray that was um, sent to us by a Dan Safarian or a dinosaur shark ray. 2017 collective figure. Pretty cool. We have a couple of shark ray figures. I'm, I'm just gonna put try to put the shark ray figures together. Let's try to find one more um, without you know digging too much. Hopefully you are able to find. Yeah, here's another one. Okay, this one is pretty cool. It's from Schleck, doesn't have any name um, printed, um, printed below, but you can find a very nice detailing done. There's some like, nice ridges and um, nice spots on this body. Okay, let's see what else we've got. We have a sawfish right here. So sawfish, a 1994 figure. They basically use this saw-like tool to actually slash across the water like this. And um, that will help them um, to capture or, you know, to feed on the prey. Very nice figure. I love this. We only have a couple of um, sawfish figures. And this one is one of our latest edition. It is a Thrasher Shark. You can easily recognize this by this little, really long tail. If I'm not wrong, the Thrasher Shark actually used the tail to whip up at its prey. So basically, it's able to whip it up and it was, they are able to stun the prey. They're, they will go into, into a shock kind of a state and that's when the Thrasher Shark will attack you know, the prey much more with much more ease. Okay, we I think we still have a couple of um, you know, thrasher sharks later on. And here's another scallop hammerhead shark. As you guys can see, we have two exact same figures scallop hammerhead shark 2006. We only have two of them, but here is another hammerhead shark, which is a really beautiful one. This one is from uh, Safari LTD. 1991 figure. I think this has got to be our oldest figure in this box, most likely. And here's a hammerhead shark baby. We have two of them. I'm not a huge fan of this figure, to be honest with you, because I feel they look too cartoonish. Doesn't look like a figure. Yeah. 2006. Okay. Apparently, this one is already like. Uh, how many years is that? You guys able to guess? Yeah, 16 years old, I think. Yeah, a pretty old figure. And what about this one? This is a Lemon Shark. Yeah, it's a Lemon Shark. It basically gets its name from the color of its body. Okay, Lemon Shark 2018 figure, which is relatively new as compared to many older figures in this box. Mako Shark right here. Okay, really beautiful. I think you, you, you would easily, you know, mistaken this for um, the blue shark because they look very, very similar. Okay, so this is a Mako shark, 2017 figure. There is a short fin Mako shark, which I'm going to show you guys um, right now. Hopefully, you'll be able to find. Yeah, this is the short fin Mako shark. It's a 2014 figure. Nice. Another great white. Yeah, I think this great white has got to be the least accurate great white in our collection. You can see this knot right here is like way too sharp. It's way too pointed to be considered a great white, I, I would say. And here is uh, another hammerhead shark. 1996 figure. It's pretty old. This is a sand tiger shark. They may look very ravenous, but they are actually pretty timid as compared to other sharks out there. Here with a tiger shark, okay? Tiger shark basically gets its name because of the stripes on its body that resembles the stripes of a tiger. And I think we have three tiger sharks in our collection, which is pretty cool. All right, let's move on and take a look at um, other figures. We have a basking shark right here. I think we have two of three basking sharks in our collection. Here's another one. So these two are pretty much the, the better ones. This is a Safari LTD Basking Shark 2007 and this one is a 2020. Wow, I think this is a this can be considered as a new figure because 2020 is basically just like two years ago. I don't think there are any figures that has the date printed um, 
as 20, 20, 22. I don't think so. So what is this? This is a Thrasher Shock, like what I've told you guys just now. It has a very long tail that it can use to whip out, you know, at the prey. That will send them into a shock state. Very cool. Here's another basking shot. I think this is from one of the budget sets. You can see this, this figure is pretty low quality. The paint is like wearing off very easily. It's made of like really, really cheap plastic, I would say. And this figure as well. And um, this is a fruit shot. Fruit shot. It is our one and only fruit shot. And here we have a leopard. Okay, this is actually a zebra shot. If you take a look at the names below. Zebra shark, yes, we have two of them. Zebra sharks and leopard sharks, they are basically the same, just that the patterns will change, you know, as they grow. So this one right here is also a um, zebra shark. Um, you can actually call it a leopard shark. Yeah, it's a zebra shark, so they're basically the same. Some of them have spots, some of them have stripes, some of them have like both stripes and spots. It basically depends. And here's another one, leopard shark. So you can you can still see it also has um the spots, so they're basically the same species. Sawfish is another one, and um yeah we have two sawfish in our collection so far. This one is from Collecte, which is um 2014, pretty new I would say. Um this one is a pretty cool one. I think we got this. I can't remember whether we received this from a Dan Safari or did we purchase this ourselves? I can't remember. 1996 Great White Shark. You know, it has a very gruesome looking face, which is very, very cool, I feel. Oh, and this one is the Papo figure. I think this is like one of the better looking ones. Papo, Great White Shark. Great White Sharks, they have great sense of smell, okay? They can smell like blood from miles away, which is very, very impressive. And here's a Bull Shark. Apparently, this is the most aggressive species of sharks yep, out there. 2010 figure. Here's another great white. I think this one is from Schleich. You can see this figure has been with me for like many, many years. I, I don't know when this was produced. This is probably from 2012. But this figure has been with me for quite some time. And here's an oceanic, an oceanic white tip shark. Nice. 2019. Another Papo Great White. I think we have two exactly the same ones, which is okay. This one, oh my goodness, I can't remember, so I need the help of you guys to name this. This is a Bamboo Shark. And here's a Nurse Shark 2015 figure. Very cool. Basking Shark. This one looks weird. It doesn't really look like a Basking Shark. Okay. And here is a... Um, is this like a pointer shark? So I need the help of you guys to name this too. This is a sawfish, so we don't need help. This is easy. This is a hammerhead shark. This is a safari LTD figure. Oh, it's a schleich figure. I beg your pardon. This is a black tip reef shark. Yeah, you can see the fins all have like black tips at the end, which is pretty cool. 2012 figure. And um, this one is not part of this. I'm calling this a bull shock. I'm not too sure, not exactly sure, but I'm just calling this a bull shock. This is probably a zebra shock. Let's see. Yeah, a zebra shock, but it doesn't have the spots or the stripes. This one is basically like a guitar fish. I have no idea what this is. This is a mega mouth shock. We have two mega mouth shocks in our collection. They are extremely rare and can only be found like really deep in the ocean. And um, even the figures, all these figures that you know of a mega mouth sharks it's pretty hard to find as well because they are not extremely popular this is a gray reef shark right here 2018 figure very cool i like this and this is a white tip reef shark previously i've shown you guys the oceanic white tip shark but this one is different this is a white tip reef shark perhaps i think they, they live in uh, more shallow waters and here is another what is this I have no idea what this is, guys. Megaloplasma. What is this? Megachasma pelagius. Megachasma pelagius. Oh, I'm going to search this up. Megaplasma pelagius. Okay. And this is probably a robber gang. A robber gang. We have two robber gangs right here. Okay. Robber gangs. This one is from Schleich. 
it came along in a playset. So what's that again? Mega Casma Pelagius. I have to remember it and do some research on it. And this is a bonnet hit shock right here, 2016 bonnet hit shock. Mega Casma Pelagius. <laughs> remember to check this up then. Uh, Great White 2016 Thrasher Shock. This is a Shock Ray. 2007, I think we have um three to four shock rays, and this is probably another rubber gang. Yes, spotted rubber gang. Nice. You can see the teeth, they, they look very, very hideous, I would say. And this is basically the shock that I don't know the name. And this is probably I have no idea. And this shock, probably. Like you're gonna put the shocks into the mini shocks into the box, like this one, this one. Um, the whales probably have to put them in the whales, um, whales and dolphins in one box. You know, you have the walruses and the turtles and the manatees that have to go into the respective um, sea animals figurines. I mean, sea animals figurines boxes. So yeah, thanks for watching this, guys. Help me name this four shots right here, okay? Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.